Hey everyone, we are back with another Smart Suite Showcase. If you're new here, my name is Nate. And this series is all about giving you insights on how customers are using our platform based on the work our onboarding team has done this past week. In today's episode, we're taking a look at how you can use Smart Suite to plan and manage the production of marketing campaigns. If you find this video helpful, feel free to subscribe and download the exact solution I'm working with today in the description below. Without further ado, let's dive right in. So we're back in our homepage here. Once again, if you want to download our template, Feel free to start with the template, go to our showcase section and download the marketing showcase solution. In the last episode, I talked about the lead management for marketing campaigns. Today, we're going to focus on the planning and production of those marketing campaigns. If you want to watch that episode, the link is in the description below. So we're back in the solution. Today, we're going to focus on some views and automations for the campaigns, content, and objectives. This objectives app is new and this grid view right here gives a good overall view of what's happening with our objectives and the key results that are happening from them. We can see the target campaign counts, the link to our campaigns, the count of supporting campaigns and how we met our objective based on these two values here. We'll start by talking about planning. One important view for planning campaigns is your concept campaign plan view. And here we're filtering where the status is concept. So we get all of our concept campaigns. We can change the row size to auto size to fit all of the description and goals. This view helps us look at the campaigns we want to prioritize and review. And we can actually look at a concept campaign, the goals about it, the description, and actually link it back to an objective we created. So for this Smart Suite Academy launch, if I open up the link to objectives, I can link it to our launch academy campaign. And when we move back over to the objectives, we can see our campaign count has reached our target campaign count, which means we have reached our objective. One important process in the planning of your marketing campaigns and meeting your objectives would be to get an overall report every week of the status of your objectives. If we go into our automations engine, I've created a weekly report that is scheduled at a time, Sundays at 9 a.m., to send an email to our internal team or the relevant stakeholders in our marketing campaign with a share view link in the body of the email. This share view link is going to give you the overall summary of where you're at with all your objectives you can click in to see the key results and what's been completed there. This view shows us how our team tracks against our objectives. And as we link the campaigns over to objectives, we can see how those metrics stack up. Moving over to the content, we have a couple of views, including a calendar and a timeline view to manage the dates surrounding the content for those campaigns we're working on. Now talking about the production of campaigns, we have a campaign assignment timeline that shows which campaigns are assigned to members of our team. We have three spotlights here that are giving us some quick information right when you open this view. When the campaign has yet to be assigned, we have the yellow color. When the budget status is within our budget, it's green. And when we're over our budget, it is red. While we're working inside of this timeline, you can click into a record and see all the campaign information. This timeline view helps us plan an action on our data. For example, we can see who has an opening to take on the newest campaign for our next objective. If we want to assign this new campaign customer reviews to one of our members, we can see Nate is available. So if I click into the record, I can assign Nate as the owner and save this. Our customer reviews will now jump into my grouping. It also lets us understand who has the availability to take on the campaigns that we need to meet our objectives. One important part in managing the production for a marketing campaign is the content that is being curated for that campaign. If we move over to the content, we can see all of the content being produced. I've created a view called content needing approval, which is filtering all the content records where the status is ready for review. Your marketing team can do their work directly inside of here where they open up the record, see the general information at the top. They can move on to content information, like for example, the requirements, description, and what should be included in the content, the actual deliverables that have been produced. And then in this content approval section, they can actually approve the work. Let's say I reviewed this content and was ready to approve it. Inside of the approved by I could say I approved it. And through an automation, we can see that the status was changed to approved, which moved it outside of this view. If we go back to content by campaign, we can see the Smart Suite Academy image was approved, which can then further notify the author or the stakeholder that's in charge of uploading or publishing that that asset is ready to be published. One final important piece in managing the production of your campaigns is managing the dates of your campaigns. Let's say we need to push back the date of a campaign. For example, this blog content plan. Inside of the content, we have that start date for each piece of content that is being produced for the campaign. So if we need to move it, we can easily change the date back a couple weeks, save it, 
And through a lookup field, we're able to move over that date. So all the pieces of content and the people that are working on those pieces of content understand that the new campaign start date is on the 30th and not the 16th. SmartSuite is a great option for managing your planning and production of your marketing campaigns because you can look at your campaigns and track how they stack up against your objectives. You can manage the availability of your team in working on campaigns and manage all those dates through timeline and calendar views. With linked relationships and lookup fields, you're able to keep data consistent across apps to make sure everyone that is involved in a campaign is on the same page. And finally, with our automations, you're able to send out reports, keep relevant stakeholders updated, and help automate key process steps when people are working on the production of a marketing campaign. And that wraps up this Smart Speed Showcase. Hopefully you understand a little bit more about how to plan and manage production instead of Smart Speed for your marketing campaigns. Once again, if you found this video helpful, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can download the exact template I was using in the description below. If you have any feedback or requests for a future showcase, feel free to drop that in the comments as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next Monday. Thank <laughs> you.